the people must have been absolutely devastated. So how does the Gospel of Mark respond to this situation? With hope. A little bit of correction too, but primarily the aim is hope. The disciples ask, when will God actually fix what's broken? When will the restoration that's been promised happen? And Jesus first offers correction. Watch out for those that will lead you astray with violence. Violence isn't the answer. Watch what I'll do as I go face to face with the authorities here in a few chapters. It's as far away from violence as you can get. But don't be afraid, Jesus says. God is still here. The end is still to come. The promise hasn't died. All of this conflict, all of this struggle is the beginning of the birth of the new age. This isn't the end. It's just the beginning. It's hopeful for me to hear this affirmation of God's presence and God's power and God's intention to restore, even as the rubble of the temple is still smoldering. I'm sure there were plenty of, yeah, right, whatever, responses to the Gospel of Mark. Probably plenty of anger, too. If God is so powerful, then why doesn't God just fix this? Where's the God of Egypt already? We could use that God right now. But in the midst of that is this steady affirmation. Love is still here. It's still at the heart of everything. It does its work slowly, methodically, like waves washing against the shore. This is a new stage, but it's still only the beginning. God's time frame is longer than ours. We will only see all that God's love has done as we look back over time. The recent events don't change things. Love is still the most powerful. It will still outlast. It will still bring unexpected and unexplained change. And we still must trust in this love. We still must let go of other ways. Even now, we don't need to fear. God remains and is always pulling us to a better future. I think it's safe to say we don't live now with this belief that we're living in the end times. We had a little scare with Y2K not long ago, but we're over it for the most part. But we still proclaim the good news that God is leading us toward a new age, a different era. God is leading us toward wholeness. God wants to heal the brokenness of violence and destruction. God wants to replace the lure of greed with the satisfaction of service. God wants to bring us into harmony with creation and with one another. This is God's hope, and God's hope won't stop until it's fulfilled. Each day is a new beginning on this journey. We may want wholeness to come faster, but this journey will outlast our lifetimes, just as it outlasted the lifetimes of all those who have gone before us. God and God's powerful love will outlast everything, brokenness, heartache, greed, and every generation's attempt to resist what is loving and good. There is always reason for hope, for God and God's intention for good will always remain. May we hear this news, see and know this presence in our lives, and live with an undying glimmer of hope in times of struggle as well as in times of joy. Amen.